Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for uh, spending part of your day with us here at Unitronics. My name is Walter Stridick. I'm going to be presenting um, slides, uh, features, advantages, benefits of our new B7 series VFDs. So once again, welcome aboard. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the question box. I see that uh, looks like everyone can hear me and see me. So that is a, a good thing, or at least you can see my, uh, my slides. So that is a good thing. Uh, on your screen, you see two families of our VFDs. On the left side, you see our B5 series, uh, which has been in production for a number of years, um, thousands of units delivered and operating, and will continue to be uh, offered for sale by Unitronics. On the right side of your screen, you can see the new B7 series of VFDs. We are offering uh, some new features with the B7s, and there will be times where the B7 is a better choice than the B5 or the B1. So with that all said, let's continue. Uh, again, my name is Walter Stridick. I'm the Motion Control Business Development Manager. Uh, with me today is Thomas Gomes one of our senior application engineers. He is also the North American motion control specialist for Unitronics. You have our contact information on the screen. So um, if you have any questions uh, that come up in the future, uh, please reach out to us and let us know how we can help you. There's three main parts to today's webinar on the B7 series VFD. I'm going to take a few minutes and review the general specifications of the B7 series, uh, also reviewing the product offering, and then highlighting some of the advanced features and details that the B7 series offers. So let's get into the general specifications. The B7 series is offered in three voltage ranges. You can see we have a 240 volt AC three phase family. The 240 volt three phase will start at a one horsepower VFD and uh, go up to a 75 horsepower VFD. Uh, the second family is the 480 volt three phase VFD. And there we have uh, offering product offering two horsepower up to and including 670 horsepower. And this is uh, larger than we have offered in the past. The B7 um, is the only family of VFDs where we are offering anything above 150 horsepower, and uh, we can now go up to 670. And then the last flavor of the B7 is the 575 volt three phase, um, commonly known as the 600 volt family. And there we're going, uh, starting with a one horsepower unit and going up to the typical 150 horsepower. All of the B7 series VFDs offer a dual channel safe torque off circuit. So if you require the dual channel, or excuse me, if you require safe torque off circuitry, uh, we do have that available in some of the B1 series, in some of the B5 series, but all of the B7s include standard the dual channel STO. 
We are also happy to introduce in the B7 series an optional closed loop control. So you can receive feedback um, from your machine directly into the VFD for a closed loop operation. And that is something new for Unitronics VFDs, and it's only available in the B7 series. We also are offering, for the first time, multiple communication capabilities. We'll get into some of those details in a little bit, but with the B7, you can now acquire optional communication cards uh, that plug into the VFD, so you could talk uh, Ethernet IP, for instance, or CAN Open, or, or what have you, uh, EtherCAT et cetera, et cetera. We are also offering for the first time extended IO cards. These are optional. They can be added to the B7 series um, to um, supplement the standard IO that comes on the VFD. And as you can see in the center of your screen there at the bottom, um, the LCD keypad is a nice improvement. Uh, offering 16 lines of text and graphics. And the firmware for the B7 series now includes a wizard mode for uh, setup upon initial power up of the VFD. Moving on with the specifications, uh, as you can see, the input voltage is uh, 240 volt, a 480 volt or 600 volt, all three phase. Input frequency can be anywhere from 47 hertz to 63 hertz. Supported motors include the asynchronous induction motor, the standard uh, AC induction motor for VFDs. And you can also uh, use permanent magnet synchronous motors on the B7 series VFDs. Output frequency can range anywhere from zero to 400 hertz, very similar to the other family of VFDs that we offer. Overload capacity is also the same as our other products. Uh, we can reach 150% overload for 60 seconds, uh, going up to 200% overload for one second. Something new and that is only offered on the B7 series uh, are the control methods. And uh, I want to um, remind you of the uh, vector control, the closed loop vector control here on the second line. So the other VFDs can do uh, space vector PWM and sensorless vector but the B7 series um, can now uh, include the closed loop vector control if you're using the right optional feedback card. You can control the VFD using Modbus uh, RTU, that's an RS-485 communication. You can also control your VFD, the B7s, using analog or digital I.O., uh, there's PID capabilities, uh, pulse capabilities, and then a variety of communication cards that you see. Um, I'll talk about those in a moment, and those are also available in the catalog. The keypad that you have on the face of the VFD is removable. It uses a standard uh, RJ45 cable that can connect to the back of the keypad and internally to the VFD, so you can mount that keypad um, where needed, as needed. I'm gonna take a, a break here for just a moment. If you have any questions uh, for Thomas or myself, please uh, put them in the question section of the control panel.
All right. I don't see any new questions popping up. So we're going to we're going to continue here. Inputs for the B7 series, analog inputs, we have a total of two. Uh, analog input number one uh, can either be set for zero to 10 volts or zero to 20 milliamps. And then analog input number two uh, can be uh, minus 10 to plus 10 volts DC. Uh, digital inputs, there are four regular inputs. and uh, two high-speed inputs. You can see the specifications there. And then for the outputs, we do have one output, uh, analog output, analog output one, uh, which again can be configured to be zero to 10 volts or zero to 20 milliamps. Digital outputs, there's a total of two. Uh, one output could be sink or source, the other output at 50 kilohertz. And then there are two uh, relay outputs available on each B7 VFD. And this, uh, then you can um, acquire an optional I.O. card to add to the standard uh, I.O. that's available. On this next slide, you can see the dynamic braking units that are built in or optional, uh, given the specific voltage and size of the VFDs. Also C3 uh, EMC filters, expansion cards. So anything that is five and a half kilowatts or lower, there is room for two expansion cards inside the drive. And anything that is seven and a half kilowatts or higher um, allows for three expansion cards. So you have two communication cards and an IO card or any combination of communication and IO. Temperature ratings are the same as the B1 and the B5. Uh, of course, the higher the temperature, there is some derating that needs to be done. Heat is a big enemy of uh, motors and variable frequency drives. The enclosure rating is IP20. Again, same as the B1 and B5 series. Mounting options include wall, floor, or flange mount. Uh, cooling is air from, from the bottom to the top. There are two fans. Um, located in the top of the VFD, pulling air through it to keep all the circuitry cool. Also included on all the B7 VFDs is an integrated STO circuit, safe torque off circuit, uh, certified to SIL2 rating. And for compliance purposes, all of the meet CE UL and CUL uh, requirements. For our product offering, uh, this is uh, the next few slides are split into three sections. First, we're going to talk about the 240 volt three phase and Simply put, we start at one horsepower and go up to 75 horsepower. So you can see the part numbers listed and the specifications, uh, one, two, three, five, seven and a half, ten, et cetera, et cetera. All of them include the STO. If you take a moment to look at the part number, you will see uh, some commonality between the different families. Of course, uh, all of our VFDs, the the last two digits refer to the family of VFDs. So uh, for the B7s, all your part numbers will end in B7. Um, the U uh, will indicate that it's UL listed. Uh, the C 
indicates that it's rated for 200 to 240 volt three phase. So offering again from one horsepower to 75 horsepower on the B7s. For the 480 volt three phase VFDs, uh, this is expanded from our other families. Uh, we start at two horsepower, as you can see at the top left column, and we go all the way up to 670 horsepower uh, or 500 kilowatt motor uh, control. So this is expanded. Uh, this B5s will go from uh, two horsepower up to 150 horsepower, and the B7s now go up to 670 horsepower or 500 kilowatts. Um, if you look at the part numbers here, the top left, you see uh, UMI for Unitronics Motion Inverter, and then 0015 is the kilowatt rating. The E signifies that it is a 480 volt three phase. The U signifies that it's UL, uh, CE and CUL rated. And of course the B7 telling you which family of VFDs um, that you're looking at. So we are excited to be able to offer uh, larger horsepower VFDs uh, now with the B7 series. So in the past, um, if you had opportunities, if you were using the, these larger VFDs, uh, please reach out to us for price and availability. I'd be happy to discuss, we would be happy to discuss your application and whether or not the B7 series is a good fit uh, for what the motor you're trying to control. And then another new offering uh, that we have with our B7 series VFDs are the 600 volt family of VFDs. It's the power input is from 520 volt to 600 volt AC. Again, all three phase. And in this size offering this voltage range, we start at one horsepower and uh, we go up to 150 horsepower or 110 kilowatts. So again, uh, a newer offering uh, for Unitronics, uh, for our Canadian friends and those that are using 600 volts um, input, uh, we now have VFDs to control your induction rated and permanent magnet motors. If you look at the part number, it's very similar. UMI uh, indicates it's a VFD. And then the next four digits will indicate the uh, kilowatt range. The F indicates the input power, which is uh, from 520 to 600 volt AC three phase. Uh, the U indicates that it is UL, CUL, and CE uh, rated. And then the B7 calls out the family of uh, VFDs. So again, to summarize, the B7s are offered in three power ranges, the 240 volt, which starts at one horsepower and can uh, go up to 75 horsepower. The 480 volt three phase starts at two horsepower and goes up to the new 670 horsepower rated motor, and our 600 volt three phase uh, family of B7s uh, starting at one horsepower and going up to 150 horsepower uh, motor size. Many of you are probably interested in the extension cards that we're offering. Um, you see on your screen that we have communication cards, uh, feedback, uh, pulse generator, feedback cards, and IO cards. So we can now communicate 
uh, can open, EtherCAT, Ethernet IP, or Modbus TCP with the optional cards. And you can also acquire IO cards for additional IO, and then your pulse generator cards for your feedback, depending upon which style of feedback is required. And the part numbers there are listed. The last section of the webinar is going to discuss uh, advanced features that are offered on the B7, but not necessarily on the B5 or B1. I'm going to take a, just a, a quick break here. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them into the uh, question chat box and we'll be sure to answer them. And we'll continue in a second. All righty. A couple questions have come in. We see, uh, will the B1 series still be available for the C, uh, foreseeable future? And yes, the B1 series is still available. The B5 series is still available. And we'll continue, both will continue to be available. The B7 is an addition to those uh, other families of VFDs. So we are expanding our product offering. Uh, our distributors and customers have requested we add features, uh, we add uh, an extended horsepower rating, and also the uh, input voltage rating. So uh, B7 is a new addition uh, to our VFD family. Hopefully, Nick, that answers your question. Very good. All righty. Uh, moving on. So some of the advanced features that are offered in the B7. Uh, the power on setup wizard. Uh, as you can see, uh, the keypad supports a, um, a setup wizard for the first power on of the VFD. And uh, with this little wizard, uh, you can read the questions on the keypad and provide the answers. Uh, so you'll um, implement basic functions, basic parameter settings. Um, you can determine uh, which way uh, clockwise or counterclockwise will be your forward or your reverse. Uh, the different mode settings, and even auto-tuning of your motor. Uh, so this is something new uh, that is on the first power on situation of the VFD uh, once it's installed. And that's called the power on setup wizard. More information, um, the details of which can be found in the user's guide. Again, I think it's important to note that the B7 uh, series can control asynchronous motors and synchronous motors, and the firmware in the B7 supports two sets of motor parameters, and you can switch over between motor one and motor two using the digital inputs or uh, through the communication modes. Um, that's a nice feature to have. Um, if if your uh, system requires it. So again, you can um, program uh, two sets of motor parameters and switch between them during operation. Another advanced feature that is offered on the B7 is tension control parameters. So if you need to maintain tension, uh, during your process, if you're doing winding and unwinding of, of paper or printing, uh, wire, cable, um, 
leather, you know, foil material, so on and so forth. Uh, this tension control parameters uh, will help keep a constant tension um, on the material that's going through your equipment that is being moved by the motors that are being controlled by the B7 VFD. So you can regulate the tension either by uh, uh, torque control or speed control, uh, and that could be done, um, again, with speed control, the open loop torque, or the closed loop torque, uh, the closed loop torque being the most uh, precise um, option for tension control. So there's a whole range of tension control parameters that can be set. Uh, you see that's in section 5.5.20 of the user guide. We'll take a look at the, uh, I'll show you on the website uh, where you can download the user guide information. Open loop torque mode. Uh, again, there's no feedback signal uh, that is available in our other series of VFDs, the closed loop torque mode uh, will detect uh, sensors uh, that are installed on, the, uh, on your machine and then provide um, speed or torque to keep the tension uh, and the torque uh, within the set parameters. So, Again, using a PID closed loop module. Another nice feature that we're offering on the B7 is uh, the display of fault on the keypad screen. So um, this was a little more difficult to do with the B1s and the B5s. You could see the fault codes, but you would have to go in to the parameter and read them. Uh, here on the keypad with this larger LCD screen, uh, you can see the fault code and a, a brief definition of the fault code that's been detected, uh, just like you see here in the uh, slide. And again, when the fault is removed, the fault code will go away. You can reset operation uh, with the stop reset key. And then moving on to uh, one of our final advanced features for the B7 um, is what we are calling fire mode function. Um, if a certain output or input goes uh, high, um, if the VFD encounters uh, a, a specific fault, you can control fire mode one, you can set fire mode one, fire mode two, um, or zero for uh, disregard, and that'll determine what happens to the VFD operation. So, if the fire mode function is valid, the VFD will run at a speed that is specified in parameter 11.54. And uh, if fire mode one is selected, the VFD will always run, except when the VFD has been damaged. And then if fire mode two is selected, the VFD will always run, but the VFD will stop if it encounters one of these error codes. Um, this is uh, helpful if you if you need a fire mode function, uh, you're, you're probably pretty well versed in the requirements and needs. Uh, simply put, if um, uh, if your VFD is controlling airflow in a prior fireproof stairwell. Um, something triggers fire alarms, uh, the VFD goes into fire mode or what have you, um, and it will continue to operate to provide, quote, fresh air into the fireproof stairwell, or it will continue to operate uh, positive pressure in this stairwell to keep smoke from entering. So in some applications, this is required and it is now being offered by Unitronics 
in the B7 series VFDs. Another uh, nice feature uh, that I have found with the B7 uh, VFDs is in the user's guide, um, there are flow charts available for common faults. So uh, here's an example. Uh, it's section 7.6 of the user guide and 7.6.1, the motor fails to work. Um, and it's nice to have sort of a decision tree here uh, to try to uh, determine what's going on. Um, is, is it a problem with the VFD? Is it a problem with the motor? Is it a problem with communications, et cetera, et cetera. And there are multiple uh, flow charts in the user's guide now for the common faults uh, that VFDs see. So that's a, that's a nice to have feature. Uh, just wanted to bring that to your attention. Uh, this concludes the uh, section on the B7 series. Um, I just wanted to take a quick moment in the B1 series. We did make a recent expansion and included uh, 120 volt VFDs, UL rated, uh, 120 volt uh, power in, 240 volt power out, available in three sizes, half, one, and one and a half horsepower. Uh, just wanted to throw that out there so you knew about some of the other product additions that we've made recently at Unitronics. So thank you. That wraps up the formal presentation on our B7 VFDs.